<laughs> Get in the sewers, let's go! <gasps> yeah, but then we need the bandages, dude. We're fine. I have bandages. No, you don't. Not here. What? Uh, Wait, uh, what? <sighs> Yo, do you have the gun on you? Uh, what is this place? Let's talk this out. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, Tugs. So I heard you went quang to Mr. Kanwami, dude. <laughs> oh, oh, that's how you want to fucking go with this shit. I'll have you fucking know, motherfucker, that I never fucking ask you for anything. I never fucking ask you for any fucking thing. And the one time I needed you, you faked your own fucking death. I don't give a fuck if you're 19 years old, okay? You're, you're trying to kill me, Kanawa. I ran you over with a car. If I wanted to kill you, and I you fucking would have. You busted my leg, dude. Okay. And then, who gets and the then another your gang. Leg? And then another gang had to bring me to the hospital, dude. Yeah, because you would rather hang out with those people and fucking involve them in business that I told you was private. How the fuck do you think I felt when I showed up to therapy and you're just laughing at me like a fucking clown with your new friends from another gang? Laughing, dude. Yes, you were. You were literally setting me up in front of them. It wasn't a setup. You and Wayman. We're gonna talk it out. It's not my fault. You only listen to half the sentence. I said that from the start. That is not what fucking happened. I, I told you I didn't want to do therapy, and then you're like, "Let's do therapy, me and you." And then I show no, up. No, I swear. It was just I me said, and you. "Yeah." I never said me and you. I said, "Let's still do therapy." I never said me and you. It was gonna obviously it was gonna be you, me, and Wayman. And then you think I was lying, but the entire time it was you, me, and Wayman, dude. I told you that I didn't want to do therapy with her, so but then why'd you I'll decide to go you therapy, know, dude? You know what? I'll have you know that Raymond actually hit me up and fucking apologized and actually wanted to make sure that I was okay, which is more than either you or fucking Zolo did. For oh, me. I'm and sorry. That's crazy I only because just Raymond learned, fucking hates. I just hates learned me. like two hours ago you quit the gang over this, dude. Oh well, you know I tried to call you like 20 times, and yesterday I called you. You immediately fucking hung up the yeah, phone. Yeah, we were doing a so heist, dude. My fault. So you can't say okay, I'll call you back. What in That's the middle? Work for your yeah, little I can't brain. when we when we negotiating with the police, dude. Okay, there's no after. Why are you making so many fucking excuses, Tug? Well, because like, it's common sense, dude. It was common sense for you to fake your own death and not pick up the fucking phone when I'm literally texting you that so, shit is actually serious and I just got robbed by another fucking gang and they're like well, texting I didn't, me and saying I you're a know. stupid fucking well, bitch, first fuck off, woman's mom. Okay, so first off, let's roll it back. How did this go down? First, you want to come hang out and we're like, mm -hmm. okay, cool. I'm already with Wire and the others. Mm -hmm. So you decided mm -hmm. to come with us. So you knew they were there already. You invited me. You yeah, told okay. me I could come. Yeah, no, it's not like I forced my yeah, way but into that, the car. That's fine. But they were already there. It's not like they came afterward. Then you want you talk about Wayman like, oh my God, Wayman's doing all these things. Like, oh my God. And like, you, you know, I'm not going to take side between you and I her. never told you to take a side. I literally said, please don't stir. You don't have to get involved. You don't have to do anything. Just let me vent. That is literally all that I said. I never said take a side. Okay. It's not my fault that you started calling her up and making things worse. And the second you get off well, the phone with her, it. you're like, see, oh, but, Raymond see, is so cool, Carmela. Why are you being thing, so mean to her? Here, here's the thing. Carmella. Oh, so you were stirring tubs? No, yeah, I wasn't he stirring, was. dude. No. And he was also saying like, oh, Waymond is my mom, Kamawa. Waymond yeah, is my she mom is, now. Dude. She is, dude. Mr. K ass, dude. Okay. I'm just saying what I'm clearly telling you, like, don't fucking stir. This is not the time. It wasn't stirring. You saying it's stirring. It wasn't stirring, dude. Like, so, I called her. You knowing I that I'm upset. Her. Okay. Okay. Say it. Okay. So I called her. She pissed me off. So I, ta I talked shit back to her. And then all of it came up. It wasn't like I called her up to like snitch you out or something like that. Oh, hold, what? On, hold, on. hold on, guys, 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 guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm still trying to understand why you would leave the gang over it. That is not the reason that I turned my key in. The reason I fucking turned the key in is because of the shit that happened after. That literally because I'm getting pressed by another gang. 
fucking attacked with a wrench, getting called a stupid bitch over and over again. Someone's like literally over my fucking body going, fuck Women's Month, fuck you, you stupid bitch. And I'm calling you and talk up and yeah, no but, one fucking picks up. Yeah, but and I see, see you're on Twitter. You don't give a fuck. I wasn't Why on Twitter, fuck... dude. Oh, you were on the phone. Every time I tried to call you, it was fucking disconnected. Yeah, but that's see, how what, you were but what you're saying doesn't make any sense. Like, here's how? the thing. I think you was unhappy for another reason and you're looking for an outlet to blame because I neither me or Taco knew what happened to you and we dealt I with it afterwards. You. I but, sent you like hold, 20 text messages. Oh my, listen, can, can I talk to? I mean, is it all just going to be like bullshit? Well, I think you're just looking for excuse. Because the thing is, me and Taco found out after you went to sleep what happened, and we went and confronted them, dude. And you saying nobody got your back? I literally murked someone for you the same day while you were having the conversation. So, like, to me, it's kind of like every moment some you need to be satisfied, otherwise people against you. And that's not the case. What the fuck are you talking about? Every not, moment do, I need to be do, satisfied. Well, cause like that what the 48 30 days? minute before this whole drama start, did I not mark someone outside a senior bun for talking shit to you? Well, I didn't realize that that was something that you were going to hold up against my head. And I, I'm thing not, of like, Oh, look what I did. Who's holding you it against you? He, he's saying that as a point. He's yeah. saying that as like an example. Yeah, I literally. I didn't even hear what the guy said. Yeah, I never even I, told and I him to. You didn't I know, have but to. But you're making, you're literally making it sound like you only did it so that I would be satisfied. Like I don't know what the fuck you're trying what? to say. What? Everybody, everybody, shut the fuck up. Everybody, ever. No, no, this is this is getting stupid now, right? This is why Ramos here, right? Tux you... is literally like being dumb as fuck. How am I okay. being dumb? I'm just saying, uh, like if I didn't care guys, about you guys, coming guys, up. Guys, 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 okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, Carmela, exactly what is the problem with tugs? Exactly. I'm not, and I'll just hear me out. I'm not like trying, like, I'm just talking, like, tell exactly what you, what is the issue with tugs? The issue is that, you know, I thought that, you know, because I ran him over with the car or whatever, then he decided to fake his death. And then when shit was actually going down and I needed someone to fucking back me, he didn't answer any of my texts, which I sent like 20 of them. I'm calling him. I know he's around and he's just ignoring me and I just have to fucking deal with all these British fucks on my own. What is yeah, the point of that? No okay. one knew this and, happened. And then, me okay, or Taco no, yeah, didn't you know. answered your fucking text that I was sending you or your phone. Okay. You well, I didn't, you're being petty. Yeah, but why, why was I being petty? Because I tapped you with my car. It wasn't a tap. You ran me Wait, over. Hold on. Like Carmel, why did you run over a tug? I'm not, we're not turning the shit into blame. I'm just saying, I'm asking. Because just he curiosity. started fake crying when I was upset that oh, he now it's his fake crying, other dude. friends to <laughs> therapy to laugh at me. So, oh, okay, hold on. That, so, he was oh, okay. literally <laughs> sitting on the ground like a little baby going, eh, 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 eh. So I hit He's him with 19, the car. He's 19, Carmela. Yeah, what the well, fuck, Then why is he dude? crying like a baby? No, hmm? so what actually happened, I don't know what she's talking about is she for whatever reason was in her head and didn't heal me say we're gonna be you and wayman and me gonna do therapy for some reason she thought it was only gonna be me and her which doesn't even make any sense so when she came down i was like oh let me call wayman she's like oh my god you lied to me and i'm like trying to explain to her that it was never lie she was gonna come regardless and it was said multiple no. times no. And, hold on now I don't know why she didn't hear it. And before it could get clarified, she just screamed, said all kinds of accusatory thing that went outside. So I came down and I said, Camilla, I standing up for myself, dude. Okay. And then she got mad and she drove me over at like 60 mile an hour. So what the fuck? I, I was like, okay. And then Raya and v right, Day had to bring me to hospital. Hot. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm going to be petty too. And I'm going to pretend I'm dead, dude. And so i pretend i did for like an hour or something like that and okay. during this time apparently all this stuff happened we didn't know this happened me or taco and it wasn't until afterwards like he mentioned okay. something and so okay. we went all and right. handled it and she was already okay. asleep so all right all right all right, all right. um like i'm sorry i didn't happened. see the text Carmelo, message. what did happen in your perspective so we were gonna do therapy originally like yeah it was gonna be 
me, Raymond, and Tugs as the therapist. Okay. But um, before that could happen, Raymond, I forget what happened. I think she like twatted something about me. So I called her being like, what is your problem? And we get into like a screaming fight. Like I'm telling you, you two would have been fucking scared if you were in like the fucking radio. Yeah. Like shit was fucking deep. Shit was heavy. I was fucking screaming. She was fucking screaming. It was, it was deep. So I called Tug and I said, listen, we're not going to do therapy anymore. I'm just done with Raymond. I don't want to talk to her. Da -da 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 -da. So then I hear Tug say, oh, okay, well, let's still do therapy. And I thought he meant just us two, but I did not hear him say with Raymond. I don't remember you saying that on the phone at all. It's like- But you were fucking, whether you were crying or fake crying or actually crying, yeah. you were crying and that's why I yeah, ran you I over. Yeah, I set up so this whole therapy thing. So why, did you, run, why, did, you run, why did you run him over? Because he was crying and Wait, why I was, was upset that he invited Raymond and he had all of like those so what, why other gang people just... with him. She didn't, she, Wayman went to sleep and that's when I told you, I said she's not coming. She's going why to sleep, and then you're like, you lied to me, no, Wayman so was like, going to come. Hold on, hold on, hold on, time out. Guys, we're missing some key points here. So why did you just get out of the car and stop hanging out with him? Why did you run him over? I was getting in my car to leave, and he was standing outside of Life Invader, and he was crying to a group of fucking people, being like, Carmela's so mean, I'm standing up for myself. Yeah, so I fucking ran him over. That's the fucking problem. They, were, like, you, they didn't even walk outside at that point. Be, yes, they were. I literally saw them outside. When some fucking serious shit is going on, you don't take it serious, and that's it. And I never said I like gave my key in just because of this. It was literally because of the fucking buildup, and Zolo was just the nail in the coffin for me. Wait, where did Zolo? Oh, come? Where <laughs> Wait, did what? Zolo come in? Hold on, I, Zolo's I, a whole other situation. This so the whole thing to me sound like. So I know, you're, you're just going to say, I'm looking for a reason, I'm unhappy, da 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 what else? Listen, Carmela, listen, I get it, okay? You're the only victim in all this, okay? Not the people that got stabbed, or the people that got ran over. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> well, I'm just saying, yeah, guys, like, are you actually fucking just, kidding me? Guys, just chill out here. Listen, everybody relax, all right? Here's what we need to do. Okay, guys, we're all a family at the end of the day, all right? I now, mean, I'm, I fucking thought we were, but just, 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 I, I don't Carmela, shut the know. fuck up, Carmela. All right, <laughs> just hear me out, bro. I okay, we're all family here. We're family. We've been through hell and back. Okay, we all got each other's backs at the end of the day. All right, through thick and thin. <laughs> I thought Mud we and did, water. dude. Shut up, Tugs. <laughs> Mud and water. <laughs> We've been to Guatemala and back. Okay, at the end of the day, no matter what's going on. We're supposed to have each other's backs. So if Carmela's feeling a certain way, Tugs, you gotta make sure you get her back. Well, I didn't and, even know she was feeling a certain way, cause like I only learned that well, she like, left clearly the game. if she's fucking like yelling at you and bitching at you, clearly Ooh. there's some sort of emotions going on where she wants you to like, you know, well, hear her out. If this was a problem, her. why did nobody mention to each other? That she left the gang, dude, and we've just been wobbing things for the last three days. Why, why do you care about that? Who gives a fuck about that? That happened two days ago, and she only told, like, three people. Who gives a fuck about that? And Kate told people, okay? You care so much about finding out that she left the gang rather than the issue of why she left the gang. Well, I'm just saying, I'm just okay? saying it's a communication. Shut thing, up, dude. bitch! But, okay, dude, relax, dude. Okay? <laughs> Secondly, Carmelo, you're not supposed to be fucking running over tugs. All right, I'm just going to fucking say it. I don't know how to fuck you running him over, right? Maybe he's like, okay, you know, well, if she's going to run me over, then I'm going to ICU. Let's be honest. That's probably what happens, all right? Yeah, that's exactly what happened, dude. Okay, so there we go. It was Okay, okay well, maybe it, do it better next it time so I know that you're not <laughs> wasn't, fucking lying. Well, because it wasn't supposed to be, like, super obvious, okay? I was just being petty. That, why do you think we had random guy call I, you listen, and say I it think, with a doctor, I think dude? this is an issue of Carmelo... How is this serious? Tug, it, oh, shut up! It shut up! Bonbon and like the fucking chatty. Yeah, the so clown, that's the problem. Dude. I think the issue is at this point is Carmelo was being serious and Tugs couldn't read that room. Yeah, Tugs. Why can't you read the fucking room? Okay, well, if it was serious, why are you trying to murk me, dude? True, true. I wasn't trying I'm, to kill Carmella, you. I was just trying Carmella, to kill you. No, Carmela, <laughs> Carmela, he's right about that. He's right about that. Listen, if I wanted to try to kill him, I would have tried to kill him. And All then, I did was want to hurt him. And then why did you There's stab Zolo for just saying... Zolo, I don't okay, want to Who gives a up. fuck about Zolo? Zolo's a whole other thing. No, so don't say I don't that, know, Carmella, stop, I don't right? know what happened we'll, we'll with Zolo. We'll figure the whole Zolo situation out after. This is but, between you two right now, all right? Fuck yeah. whatever Zolo's problems are, whatever. 
right? Let's fix okay. this right now, okay? okay? At the end of the day, we're TMC, homies. You know? Don't ever say that again. <laughs> TMC was serious for me, and they ain't here. Moth is here. We're TMC. Aren't we all TMC or no? <laughs> The, the morning crew, homie. Are we not? Are we hot, not TMC? Hot to a DMC, okay? He just didn't realize it. <laughs> Listen, at the end of the day, guys, we don't, I don't want people. Come on, you know, we were loyal to Carmella. You know, we're, you, Carmella's always been loyal, all right? I mean, that's I why I called Tugs yesterday. To I didn't even know there him. was beef until like literally two hours ago when Anto mentioned it and I brought it up to Cam. Like, oh, I Carmella mean, left? That's why I called you because clearly I still give a fuck about you at least and i don't believe I mean, it dude <laughs> i i only you're told supposed to be or my called sister, the people dude. that i gave a fuck about okay and i'll be honest i was very emotional that day you know the fight with raymond was really heavy we were literally screaming at each other it was fucking serious and crazy and then you know i have zero tolerance for that bullshit when it comes to British men and their vulgarities. And, you know, I don't really like being called a stupid bitch over and over and over again. So I was very upset. And, you know, I just, I thought you either didn't believe me. I don't even remember what I texted you. I didn't see any talks. of the tests. I said, mask Manor off, robbed me and called me a stupid bitch, going to handle it myself since no one will pick up or give a fuck. I know you're faking all this, but I really needed you. Don't bother calling. If I die, it was that. And like, I was valid in that moment. Like that wasn't even that dramatic. Like, I feel like that was reasonable. That was a reasonable request. Like if I die, it's your fault. So you, like, if you died, you would have put it on a 19 year old? Yeah. You know, for you being 19, you have the like, you know, people do look at you for wisdom. You're OG in the streets at 19 technically. I mean, you don't want my wisdom, dude. <laughs> Okay, give me some wisdom then. What, okay, what would you have done if in that moment you're still mad at me about, you know, me running you over, but let's just say you did pick up the phone and you heard that, you know, the manor had just did that. What would you have done? Well, we literally pressed them the moment we found out, Carmela. That was my point with I got your back time and time again, including the very same day where I murked someone for calling you a bitch. So it's kind of, I think it hurt more when you say, well, you don't got my back, even though I had your back like an hour prior to that. I didn't know that you went for the, the manor afterwards. Yeah. I well, didn't know yeah, about both that Both me all. and Taco did. We found out, because the thing is, I didn't see your text messages. I wasn't like ignoring it. Like sometimes you oh, don't see the text okay. message. So then when Taco mentioned that he got a phone call from you, Dealing with the manor, that's when I'm like, hold up, let's see if this seems like this is just miscommunication. Yeah, exactly, dude. I know, and I did and say, you know, that day was a lot. It was a really, you know, serious, stressful day. When so... when me and Taco went to go talk to the manor, what they mm -hmm. told us was, and we were planning to talk to you, but like we haven't been able to reach you. I get it, you tried mm -hmm. calling, but you know, shit happened. We each other, but. They told us that you were with, I don't remember what the hell her name is. Um, Some lady at Burger Shot. They tried to mm -hmm. rob her. They're claiming you got involved. And then they were going to rob you and then realize it was Carmela. And then they didn't rob you. That is not what fucking happened. He's yeah, I, I believe I, I believe you. I'm just telling you what they told us. You guys keep talking, all right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to yeah. take a call really quick. And then, um, you know. And then we're like, okay, we're going to find out what happened with Carmela. And that's all it was. That's not what happened, but it's okay. I already stabbed the guy. So it's over now. Oh, okay. All right. Well, listen. Okay. Well, are, I think guys, it's solved, dude. Are we, are everybody okay Honestly, here? this is Zolo's fault because, like, he was riling me up the entire time. <laughs> what? Yeah. He was, he was a part of that, too? What you mean? He told me that all he said was that, listen, you ran over tugs and you're like, ah, and then you stabbed him. 
That is literally not what fucking happened. I was trying to speak, <laughs> and every single time I opened my mouth, Zola would cut me off. You guys know how Zola is, though. You know how he is. Yeah. Like, he was like, I don't know what the fuck was wrong with him that day, but he was like on yeah. a whole other fucking level. Yeah. Literally, every time I opened yeah. my mouth, he'd be like, uh, car, car, uh -oh. car, 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 car. And he was just being annoying oh my God. as hey, fuck. So, so Wait, he like, called you car, that. car? Yeah, it's, I that hate it. That's crazy, dude. Which one's worse, car, car or car, Rivera? Just kidding. Guys. Listen, <laughs> I'm, look, you I'm sorry. <laughs> Camela, like, you know, <laughs> look, I love you, okay, Camela, okay, you're my big sister, and I always got your back, dude. But I can understand, Zolo kind of a bit. Same with Peanut. You love me? Yeah. I'm still your big sister? Yeah, of course, dude. I don't want you leaving Tangang, especially over someone like Dolo. <laughs> well, I'm sorry for running you over. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. I just felt so sad and those British men really fucking pissed me off and then I was just so upset and then Zolo kept fucking pissing me off and then you know no, I hate British people dude happening. that's me why I don't too. like Zakid <laughs> wait what oh <laughs> wait, what well, is that's, why, that's why you don't fuck with Zakid <laughs> Yeah, dude, fuck the British, dude. I'm from Boston, dude. Oh. Yo, 1675 oh, for life, dude. Or whenever the fuck Bo that was. Boston Tea Party, 1733. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Has Zolo said anything about me since everything went down? I don't know. Honest, no, really we don't want to talk to me. Come on. We... No, I can take <laughs> it. <laughs> well, we don't need to get into that. We don't need to get into that. No, no. Uh, no He's been talking pretty crazy. I ain't going to lie. Oh. He's been talking pretty wild. Yeah, I figured. Dude, That's I... That's why, Tug, obviously, you know, I reached out to Tugs and not him. I'm really... I feel like, I, you know, again, it was miscommunication and kind of a... Just bad timing with me and Tugs. No, for sure. Solo, just, I know... <laughs> he likes to be an asshole when he can. Like, I know Tugs. I know you can... Yeah. I know you'd be able to talk to Tugs. Mm -hmm. Oh. Like, you know how Zolo is. Yeah, I know how Zolo is, unfortunately. But listen, Carmel, I will say to you, mm -hmm. you know, Zolo's in the gang. So you're going to yeah. have to have a talk with him. And I'll be there to mediate. Yeah. Okay? I know even though you guys had your differences, <laughs> just the same way you had differences with Tugs, Zolo is in the we'll gang, right Carmela. Now. Right? And, 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 and I'm going to give you the outlet. Just get it all off your chest. Say what you want to say. Really say how what you want to say. You know what I mean? Okay. I mean. Because at the end of the day, we have to coexist. As long as he listens. You know? Oh, if OG Ramos is there, he'll listen. Can I just like dangle him off a cliff or something? Carmela. Like, feel... Carmela, he's in the gang. Okay, we'll do that if I can dangle Paris off a cliff and kill him. We'll exchange Zola for Paris, life for life. Okay. Deal? Okay. No. That's what I thought. Not That's my pair of hair. That's what I thought. Okay. <sighs> okay. But he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna clap back as well. He's gonna get it off his chest as well. Because he I know. feels okay. All right. Okay. Okay. I know. Yeah. So are you guys good here? Yeah. Yeah. yeah we good, dude. All right. We're good. All right. Smiles. <sighs> let's, go, let's go wipe some people, dude. All right. Yeah, right over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, go up. <laughs> All right, Carmela. If you ever need keys back to the crib, let me know. Okay. Uh, so, like, I'm not a drama no. queen, right? No, not at all. Okay, good. I just wanted to like make sure you're on the same page as me. Okay, all cool. right. Have fun right, robbing people, guys. Clothing store is right across the street, all right? Yeah, I know. I'm not stupid. Bye. Lady right, out. Lady out.